drawn to neurons. The presynaptic neuron communicates with the postsynaptic neuron at the axodendritic synapse. When an action potential or electrical stimulus travels down the presynaptic neuron and reaches the terminal glutamate, glutamate, the most excitatory neurotransmitter, is released into the synaptic gap. Glutamate binds to the AMPA receptor, causing AMPA to undergo a conformational change. Sodium can now flow into the postsynaptic neuron. As sodium floods in, the buildup of positive charge repels the positively charged magnesium cork that blocks the NMDA receptor's pore. As more and more sodium floods in, the positive buildup of sodium ions causes the magnesium cork to pop out of the NMDA receptor. Under normal circumstances, glutamate would now bind to the NMDA receptor, allowing calcium to flow in and ultimately strengthen the synapse. Things would be completely different if ketamine was involved. Ketamine is an uncompetitive NMDA receptor agonist. It binds to NMDA and effectively blocks the pores so that glutamate can no longer bind. Ketamine can also bind to NMDA receptors on GABAergic neurons, effectively inhibiting them. GABAergic neurons release the inhibitory neurotransmitter GABA. Both of these events lead to increased glutamate levels in the synapse, which have been associated with psychosis.